What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy, JP, the Instar Guy. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Today, I got a small, quick how-to for you guys. I'm going to show you how to properly tap right off of your cigarette lighter plug. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing. These are the type of things that we do. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That's what we do here. So, first thing you want to look for with your cigarette lighter plug if you have the little indications on there is if it has the key or the little battery. If it has the 12 volt DC with the battery on it, then that means it is constant. This is going directly to the battery and you don't want to tap off of it. If it has the little key cylinder, I'm not not cylinder, but the little key icon on there, then that means that it's 12 volt ignition, which means it comes on with the key comes on. But the real reason why I actually want to show y'all which one you want to tap off to is because sometimes if there's a little ring right here, this is like a little acrylic ring and it has lights on it. And what that basically means is that there is a illumination wire that taps onto this as well. Why is that important? Well, it's important because you have three wires at your plug. You have a ground, you got a 12 volts that's going to the key ignition, and then you also have 12 volts that's being turned on by the lights. It can be a little tricky because as of right now, if I test these, that's reading ground, that's reading ground, and I think this one's not gonna read anything. Uh, so a quick indication on which one you should tap into is the heavier gauge wire. This one right here is really thin. Well, it's thin compared to the other two. So nine times out of 10, if we're gonna be powering something, we're probably not gonna be powering it off of the thin wire. We're gonna be powering it off of the heavier gauge wires. Now with this one being black and this one being the color, I'm going to assume that this is the 12 volt ignition and this is the ground, but you never wanna assume because some cars, black is actually the positive. So we're just gonna go ahead and check. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on. So with the car being on, we're gonna test that black one more time. It's giving me zero, so that's cool. All right, so that's the heavy gauge showing us 11.9 volts. And let's check that smaller gauge. Smaller gauge showing us 12 volts. So right now we know that our black is ground and these two are giving us 12 volts but now which one is going to be the ignition which one's going to be the lights uh so i'm going to go ahead and turn the car off oh so now the car is off but i don't know if you hear it that means the lights are still on since the lights are on one of these is going to be 12 volts and one of these is not going to be 12 volts so let's check the heavier gauge wire first it's not giving us any reading, so I'm assuming that that's my ignition. The smaller gauge is giving me 12 volts. So that's the one that the lights is tapped onto. I'm just gonna stick this in here. So now that should go off when I turn the lights off. Exactly. So we just turned the lights off and that went from the 12 volt to the ground. So that means that this little wire is the illumination wire. The black is our ground and our 12 volt, uh, our pink with the white, with the yellow stripe is our ignition. So let's go ahead and military splice these and uh, get them wired up. If you guys don't know how to military splice, I will link the, uh, I got a video showing you how to do that stuff. So I will link that below and the card over there in the corner. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got these things military spliced in. Like I said, I will actually link the video showing you guys how to do that so we can keep this one short, sweet, straight to the point. What I'm using here is my actual fuse, uh, female cigarette socket. Cigarette socket, it actually has a fuse tab on them. I will see if I can find a link for that uh, stuff and I'll put that in the description for you if I can find them. But the reason we're doing this is because I'm installing the dash cam and this Chrysler. So uh, I wanna show you how to do that part right there. So now, uh, since we have this hooked up we can take the socket side of the dash cam hook that boy into this right here and now when our car comes on the cigarette lighter a uh, little deal when our car comes on the dash cam comes on when the car goes off the dash cam goes off why would some people are probably thinking why wouldn't i just cut this cord and then hardwire it well see the thing is the dash camera is a five volt dash cam as you can see right here dc five volts which means well it says output 
it can take in 12 but it will output 5 volts dc so basically what that means is that if we cut this wire and try to hard wire it straight to here it will not come on it will end up damaging the dash cam because it cannot take uh 12 volts they can only take five that's why this only outputs five so that's why we're doing that if you guys have any other questions man i also have another video showing how to tap into your fuse box if you're trying to get power i will link that stuff as well until next time if you found any type of value in the video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment all that good stuff and uh i'll catch y'all in the next call baby peace